please welcome Mr. Jason Morelli. up there about how, how discoveries and science are made, which is incredible, and, and it was amazing because a lot of the points he brought up about how important discoveries and science are made, things that change the world, are practices that you guys all use to build your robots, and it was really inspiring to hear it. And then watching the video, it makes you think back, five years ago, when this all started, we were actually here in California. This started at Cal State Northridge. There were only about 80 teams. It won't be a lot of you, but clap if you were at Cal State Northridge five years ago. Those of you who weren't there, you don't know how far this has come. This is a big jump from five years ago. We went to Dallas, we went to Orlando, and it brings us back here to California. It's pretty amazing to think that right now, five years later, the middle schools and high schools here are making up the largest middle school and high school robotics program in the world. How's it growing so fast? Why are so many schools starting teams? There's a lot of small answers. There's a lot of things that add up to that. But the one that has the most to do with it is people. It's the people in the program. It's the people involved. We met a lot of them this morning. We celebrated the teachers, the mentors, the volunteers. There's another little group, the students. So on the volunteers, it does take a lot of volunteers to make this happen. We've got a really great group of volunteers that work on this year round, that work on this game year round. They volunteer their time. They put a lot of work into it. So before we get to what's behind this curtain here, I'd like to introduce the people who worked since before last year's game, over a year, designing what you're about to see. Do you guys want to meet the game design committee? Yeah. I'm going to call them out one at a time. Please welcome from Chrysler, Mr. Jim Zondag. From Nagua, the Naked Chicken Tournament Manager Software, Mr. Mike Suka. From Intellitech, Dan Larishel. something a little different but I want to make sure you seem like you're kind of into it but I know we got three different groups here college teams are you ready to see the new game college yeah. teams you want to see it yeah. that's all right but the other kids I think 
middle school, middle school teams. Do you guys want to see a new game? Let's count down from 10 to join the game design committee. Let's see the new game. Ten, nine, eight, ready? Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Ten. Ten. are distributed around the field. Alliances of two teams each operate their robots from control stations at the sides of the field. The field is divided by a set of troughs elevated 15 inches above the floor. There are three types of goals in SAC attack. Floor goals, troughs, and high goals. The objective of the game is to get as many points as you can by placing sacks and bonus sacks in the goals. The colored alliance starting tiles are the floor goals. A sack scored in the floor goal is worth one point, and a bonus sack scored here is worth six points. The elevated scoring troughs are the mid-level goals. A sack scored in the trough is worth five points, and a bonus sack in the trough is worth ten points. The high goals are located 30 inches above the floor. A sack scored in the high goal is worth 10 points, and a bonus sack in the high goal is worth 15 points. The alliance with the most points at the end of the autonomous period gets a 10 point bonus. Yeah. The most robot part, touching one of its own floor goals at the end of the match receives a 10 point bonus. The match begins with each robot on their alliance starting tile. Each robot may be preloaded with one sack. A 15 second autonomous period starts the match. During the autonomous period, robots can score sacks using pre-programmed instructions. At the end of this period, the drivers take over the controls. It's like bridge battle. Each alliance gets four sacks to use as driver control loads during the driver controlled period. As the driver control period starts, 
teams command their robots to score as quickly as they can. When designing your robots, remember that the sacks can be real obstacles. Sacks that leave the playing field will be returned at the point where they exited. Good luck, and we'll see you at the competitions. This has declined. STEM Hall of Fame member, Mr. Dave Labs from NASA, putting up some amazing game animation. Uh, now, we want to draw your attention to some things that are a little bit different this year. The first thing is a simple one, but something we've had a lot of requests for. The game was finished early. The field was finished early. The scoring objects were finished early, and they are all available for purchase right now at this event if you want them. Well, too bad we don't have money. Somebody else got to put a all of them. How many of you have one of these? An iPhone or an Android phone? Because guess what? We've made a tool to make that fast pack that much easier for you. Take a look at the screen. That's right. We now have our game manual and a score calculator online available for you to download to your phone. You can look up any rule, search words. If you have any questions, you're going to find them right now. We play some games. We're cutting edge and we're moving forward into the future. It's pretty awesome stuff. I play with it. It's wicked. No way. This is so Look how easy you can find stuff, that's amazing. No more thumbing through binders, no more freaking all this stuff out. And if you ever want to find no out what the score games. is, just boom, 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 use the score calculator. It's right there for you. <laughs> boom, boom, pal and B! <laughs> It is pretty sweet stuff up there. Of course it's not on the One other thing we want to draw your attention to related to the robot games. We've decided to open things up a little bit this year. Uh -huh. You're still only allowed to use 10 motors on your robot, but you can uh -huh. use whichever VEX motors you like. Whoa! Because using a bigger, higher power, higher current draw motor is not always the best solution. You need to be careful and cognizant of engineering trade-offs in your robot design. So, I got one question for you. What do you think of SAC attack? Uh. Vex Gateway is not over. In fact, the best day of Vex Gateway is coming up tomorrow. We're going to finish up our qualification matches, we're going to play our elimination rounds, and we are going to find out who really is. Sean!